make it. We're here at the fabulous Flamingo Hotel, built in 1946 by Bugsy Siegel. And there are other classic era Las Vegas hotels still around. Las Vegas is the wedding capital of the world. And we're here at the oldest chapel on the Las Vegas Strip, the Little Church of the West. And this is where Elvis and Anne Margaret got married in the movie Viva Las Vegas. Welcome to the Liberace Museum. We're going to enter the costume gallery and immediately you'll see what began as just a simple gold lame tuxedo jacket to what evolved over the next 30 years as a much more extravagant wardrobe. And the collection at this museum is uniquely Liberace and uniquely Las Vegas. You know, I'm often asked how many feet of neon is there on Las Vegas Boulevard? And I don't think anybody really knows because you could start at one end and start counting and by the time you got to the other end you'd have to start over because it's changed so much in that length of time that it wouldn't be accurate. You know, some people call it Sin City, but I like to call it Fun City. And if you're the adventurous type, there are plenty of roadside motels from the 1950s and 60s with kitschy neon signs. People always remember the time they discovered Las Vegas on their own, and they always want to remember it that way. Well, it can't stay that way. It's got to be ever-changing, ever-improving to stay on the cutting edge of entertainment. You know, it's important to appreciate your landmarks while you have them. We've already lost the Dunes Hotel, the Sands Hotel, and now the Stardust is closing. Thank goodness they're going to save the beautiful sign.